Howdy, how y'all doing today? So, I've been doing basically a video every day in April, except for the weekends. And truly, it's supposed to be more vlogging than anything else. And the difference between vlogging and what I have been doing is basically a vlog is supposed to be kind of a daily diary. Where I'm supposed to come out and tell you things that are happening in my day and all that other kind of stuff. But you know what? Nothing happens really in my day all that often, so that would be the most boring thing in the world. Instead, I'm going to recount something here, or I'm going to tell this little thing here, because this is interesting to me. I love looking at pictures. If you saw my little avatar there, or whatever they call that little picture down there below, um, maybe it's a thumbnail, I don't know. Anyway, you saw me holding a photo album. I love looking at pictures. Um, there are places in this world... One, that I'm, I know I'll never get to. Two, I know I don't want to go to. <laughs> so I get to see pictures of all kinds of things, you know, around the world. I love looking at those pictures. I'm one of those few people who will go, you know, whenever I have visited people, and want to look through their photo albums if they have any. I love seeing pictures of their family and, you know, outside the house and whatever. I just love looking at pictures and seeing the types of things that interest people. And, you know, it probably comes from the fact that my family, me, you know, it was just me and my parents, just the three of us, we moved around a lot, but we were not one of those families that took a whole bunch of pictures. Uh, something that's probably strange to younger people now, but this is my reality, is that I didn't see a picture of me as a baby until I was 40 years old. When there was a surprise party for me and this other guy, he didn't turn 40, but our birthdays were like a couple of days apart. And our wives uh, tricked each of us into thinking that it was a surprise party for the other person. And then we both showed up kind of snickering at each other. And it turned out it was for both of us. So that was really sneaky. And we both had cakes. And my parents had gone to a family reunion the summer before down in Louisiana and one of the relatives had a picture of me as a two-week-old baby. And, no, no, that's not right. Two-month-old baby. <laughs> two-week-old, that would have been interesting. No, but I was, I was two months old. And it's the only baby picture that they have of me. There's no baby pictures of me as, well, as a baby from my parents. Um, the youngest I was in any pictures with my parents is two years old. So I never knew that any pictures existed. And you find that other family members will have pictures of you that you don't know. Friends will have pictures of you. Um, it turns out that within the last three to four months, I have seen and received pictures of me from my college days. I didn't realize that there were maybe more than one or two pictures of me at college ever. Because not everyone walked around with cameras back then. We didn't have smartphones. Uh, you know, it cost some money to um, to develop film. Yes, we developed film back then. You had to take it to someone else. And sometimes it took a week. Sometimes it took two weeks to get pictures back. Uh, so not a lot of people walked around with cameras. Um, I didn't know anyone who was a photographer professional photographer except for the guy who used to show up at school uh, <laughs> to take your picture so it just wasn't anything I ever really got to see and so over the last few years I've been able to you know go to mom's house where she has produced these photo albums that she hadn't really paid any attention to for years and I've been looking through pictures of me and them and some of the places that we've been um, on, on trips for instance, I lived in Tokyo, Japan for three years, and there's very few pictures of me in, in, in Japan. I mean, very few pictures, period, of us in Japan. I lived in Kansas City, Missouri for a year. Only a couple of pictures. That's it. I mean, we just, we just didn't do that. Me in Maine. I lived in northern Maine for four and a half years, and almost no pictures. <laughs> Except for the school picture. There's almost no pictures of me or my family in northern Maine. Uh, there's a few more pictures in Texas. That's where I was born for my first three years. Uh, only because my grandfather visited and my cousin Gail visited. So there were pictures there. And there were a couple of pictures of the house because my parents had actually built a house uh, for a couple of years while we were there. But overall, there's not a lot of pictures. So 
when Instagram decided to make itself available for Android, I was ecstatic because now I can go on there and I can hook up with friends and I can see all their pictures or hook up with people I don't know. I mean, there's people I don't know who are following my Instagram channel because they love to follow my pictures and I take pictures of everything. Mainly food. I'll, I'll load up to that. I go out a lot and so I take pictures of stuff or I go to the grocery store, Wegmans, and I see something that looks weird or interesting, whatever, and I take pictures of that. I go out with other people and I will take pictures of their food. I will take pictures of the restaurant. Sometimes I see sky images that look really cool and I take pictures of those. And I love looking at the pictures that they have the random pictures on Instagram. Uh, I will say there's some interesting things that pop up that I don't know how they make the determination. There's a lot of pretty women in this world, in this country, in this state. There's a lot of pretty women, and they don't mind flaunting their stuff, and, you know, okay, you know, there it is. It's just out there. There's a lot of cute kids. There's a lot of cute little animals and even bigger animals. Okay, I'm not really crazy about animals, but still, I get to see a whole lot of scenic things that people have taken pictures of where they've been, and I think it's all marvelous. Now, having said that, that's kind of the blog part. I'm one of these people who always ask the question, how come there are some people who think that they have to be marketing 24-7? Instagram has gotten like that. There are people who the only thing they put up are either motivational messages all day long, they, they show nothing personal, yet they have a page on Instagram, or they're marketing. You know, I see the little video clips, uh, 10 to 15 second clips where they're advertising something. Now Instagram's getting ready to move that to up to a minute of advertising. So, oh my goodness, please don't do that. But they're going to do it. And they're trying to get you to go to their YouTube channel or go to their blog and all this other kind of stuff. And I have refused to use Instagram for business purposes because for me, that's kind of a fun place. I just want to go and look at pictures. I don't want to look at your messages. Now, I will say there are some very creative people who do these little short videos. And what they can get away with in 15 seconds has been amazing. So if some of those people extend it, I think that one might be fun. But the marketing aspect of it and you know the motivational messages, which I'm not opposed to motivational messages, but if that's all someone is putting up and you know they've got a link there that they want you to go visit their website, okay, you know, I'm just not into that. I like seeing a whole lot of other stuff. Like I said, I just find that pleasurable. I can spend an hour just going through pictures on Instagram. You know, it's just a little thing with me. I don't know how y'all feel about pictures. Like I said, if you're younger, you've grown up seeing tons of pictures. If you're my age, maybe you didn't. Uh, you know what? Maybe there is a difference. Maybe it's just the fact that, you know, I was a black family that was traveling around and, you know, we didn't really have tons of money. We were a military family. So, you know, maybe that's why we didn't take a lot of pictures. I know that rich people used to take pictures in movies all the time. So let me know your thoughts on that. You know, how do you feel about pictures and such? Y'all let me know. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Let's all have a wonderful day. Peace.